My name is Jasmine Siah and I make videos for a living. Got it? Oh, you got it. Speaking of the past year, what's one word you would use to describe it? Ayo. <laughs> I was unhealthier because I was ordering takeouts all the time. I was snacking in between because of the stress. That's when I realized we were wasting so much. Just food delivery alone, we use plastics, we use styrofoams, we use all these things that probably we don't need. But then I realized there were some parts that I can control. My own routines, my own health. And what does that mean? Actually taking some accountability to realize how much I've wasted for the planet. I think if I can grow my own food, that'd be much, much cooler. So let's say if I grow this, something as simple as tomatoes. I really am looking for a thing. Something to help me out in my progress of being healthier. What I consume, what I do for the planet. I think that'd be really cool. At BFM, we believe that a healthier self is easily achievable. We just need to take steps to get started. That's why we've teamed up with Pulse by Prudential in our mission for a healthier Malaysia. Today, our journey to better health starts with making better routines for a healthier and sustainable lifestyle. And who's better to speak to than Beatrice Young from Eats, Shoots and Roots? Hello! Hi, I'm Beatrice. Nice to meet you, Nice to meet you. <laughs> Welcome to Eats, Shoots and Roots. Being in KL, how did you find space? to have urban farming? Like, what made you want to suddenly have this? When you grow something from scratch, um, you tend to appreciate a lot of the small things in life, like it's a de-stressor, and, it, and the other thing is just to know what impacts you have on a daily basis, right? So every decision you make actually has an impact. If you think about your 365 days in a year, um, how many takeouts do you take? If you can try to recycle them or separate your waste, it's a healthier environment and equals a healthier you, right, at the end of the day. So it's just making better options, you yeah. know, like making conscious choices. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So I'm looking for like alternative options. So let's say if I have like a snack tree, I don't know what that is. Like, yeah. Kedong dong, kedong dong. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, easy to grow? You see, yeah, in the pot, like in the morning, I just take one on the way to work. Right. Yeah. Especially like since MCO, right? I realized people were, were like on it. But it's always hard. It's always like a case of, oh, yeah, I killed my something. Yeah. So, what would you recommend? Well, they're like pets, you know. They need to eat, they need to drink water, um, they also need a haircut occasionally. They need love and time. You live a very busy life, that might be one of the challenges. So, I would say there's a solution to it though. You can grow things that require minimal effort. So say for example, if you grow like Thai basil or any type of basil, they're annual plants. So they tend to grow and then after like six to eight months, they move on. So that's okay if it dies. But when you grow it, it's just, yeah, it is really the best taste ever. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited so, for that. Yeah, you should. I think everyone should experience growing something and eating their own produce. And I think it's encouraged me to cook a lot more. Cooking is good, it's good for you, it slows down the process so not everything is just buy and eat. You also appreciate a lot more and that appreciation is... makes you happier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agreed. I love that. <laughs> love that. Yeah, I would like to get to there at one point. Yeah. yeah. From all of that, I need you to show me some cool stuff on how to do that. Okay. Oh yeah? You ready? Yeah. Whatever that you put to the plant is also what you are going to get back. You want the plant to be healthy because you're going to eat it, right? It was amazing to just walk around and know that it's all you. I think it's exciting to see that you can do this on your own. Mm. It's also like a form of power, but with veggies. With everything today, the whole process, I felt empowered. I'm excited to go home now to start these things. I think I'm gonna make some basic stir fry to start, and then we'll see. Growing your own food is a great step towards taking care of your health and the environment. One of the other ways that has helped me cultivate healthier routines is with the Pulse by Prudential App. 
I'm going to kickstart my new sustainable diet by planning for my upcoming meals with the meal planner feature. This is so whenever I get busy, I just fall back on the plans I've set in the meal planner. That way, I know that my healthy meals are already planned for in the future. Thanks, Pasni! And since I'll be growing my own food from now on, I need to understand the food I'm eating too. Which is why another feature of the app, Food Journal. It's a great tool to help me learn more about the food I'll be preparing. And the other thing is, I won't be doing it alone. There is a healthy eating community on the app that I can reach out to in case I ever need some support on my journey. If this video resonated with you, join us on our pledge for a healthy Malaysia and start creating your very own set of healthy food eats. And while you're at it, reward yourself with 10% discount with a minimum spend of 100 ringgit from ESR's online store when you make a pledge with us. And what's more for your health and wellness needs? Get a 10 ringgit Shopee voucher from Pulse by Prudential for any purchase at Watson's official store at Shopee. Download the Pulse by Prudential mobile app for free from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.